Hi, my name is Gaia. I'm a street artist and muralist. I spend most of my time creating site-specific and place-based works traveling around the world, but I'm based in Baltimore via New York City. Um, we're here at Panea at the W Hotel. I'm just wrapping up a mural at the launch party. Um, and this piece is just simply about the um, the quotation of the Roman Empire and its aesthetics and the early infant sort of inception of the United States and its relationship to France. I, I, I was intrigued by the building that the W is situated in and that it renovated. Um, so which, it's an old building, old Hotel Washington. The building that we're in is the old Hotel Washington. Um, and I wanted to use Whatever I made, I wanted its foundation to be based in um, the style of Beaux Arts and what Beaux Arts means and what it means that um, so much of DC is in fact a quotation of early um, European architecture and um, of channeling the aspirations of the Greek and Roman empires. Um, the tools that I generally use are um, latex and aerosol paint and when it's interior work and I have more attention to detail then I'll use an airbrush. Uh, we've got a really uh, wide array of uh, small bites coming out so like you said they're all one biters uh, we want to impress with every single bite, so we're uh, offering a pretty varied menu. So we have everything from deviled quail's eggs to, we also have uh, little mini scallop tartlets with celery root and black truffle, uh, which are going to be phenomenal. We're doing something that I'm calling pork sushi, even though the pork is not raw, but we're doing pork cracklins with Iberico ham. So that should be a pretty powerful little bite. Uh, once a month I bring in a whole hog from Whitmore Farms in, uh, up in Frederick County. And uh, you know we do a ton of different specials besides making our own bacon, our own hams, our tete cochon, we make salumi, um, but we run lots of specials with the pork. We definitely take a lot of pride in um, our sourcing and we also make just about everything we can from scratch. And I will work for anything that provides an interesting story and an interesting opportunity to learn um, and of course further my career. And I don't think street art has ever really been about anti-corporate anything or anti-consumer anything. It might want you to pretend that it is, but um, generally speaking, street art is just a romanticized form of guerrilla branding and anyone who wants you to convince you otherwise is probably lying to you. So.